Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video. So before we jump into actually unboxing the poly gel kit and doing some poly gel nails, I first wanted to share with you guys this super cute flower bouquet from Rose Forever New York. They did send this over to me and I have received other flower bouquets from them in the past. I've absolutely loved them. I think they are one of the most beautiful decoration pieces and I just love how they are natural roses but they are preserved so that they last up to one year but that they are still just real looking and they smell good and they are just so beautiful. So a little bit about Rose Forever, it is a New York based brand that launched in 2019. They design luxury rose boxes with natural roses that will last for a year as if being freshly picked. They use natural oils to preserve the roses and the bouquets are handcrafted by professionals. All the materials they use to cover the boxes are vegan, even the pink suede and the black velvet. The preserved roses come in tons of different colors such as violet, black, royal blue, and this new flower bouquet that I'm showing you here with some hydrangeas in it. The colors for the roses and flowers are created through a natural process of pigmentation to keep the rich intense shade and are allergen free as well. There is an enormous choice of rose colors, box shape, or material, so you just have to find your own perfect combination for your interior design. Like I said before, they have sent me other roses and I do still have all of the other roses they have sent me. I do personally really love their black velvet boxes. I think they are so beautiful. This one here also stands out a lot to me. If you guys are wanting to purchase some roses for yourself or a loved one, you can use my discount code BRANDY25 to save $25 off your purchase. I will be leaving the links to everything that I just mentioned down below in the description box. Now let's actually jump into the nail proportion of today's video. I am going to be unboxing this Beatles poly gel kit along with using this kit to create a set of poly gel nails today. This poly gel kit can be purchased on Amazon, which I will be leaving the link to it down below in the description box in case you are curious. Recently, I've been loving all of the poly gel kits I've been trying and using poly gel a little bit more. I started off doing nails with using poly gel, so it's super fun to get back into the groove of things and using different poly gels and just doing some other poly gel kits. Go ahead and give the video a like or comment below if you guys are also loving my poly gel videos of me doing some poly gel nail sets or unboxing poly gel kits like in today's video. This is a lazy girl poly gel kit so it actually includes some full cover nail tips instead of dual forms which I was super excited about when I saw this kit. I was like oh my goodness I've been talking about nail poly gel kits should include full cover or half cover nail tips so I did find this one that included full cover tips so I decided it would be nice for me to try this kit out. A big thank you to Beatles for actually sending this kit over to me as PR but let's jump in here and check out all of the goodies inside this nail kit. So like in pretty much every single kit or anything that you get, you are going to get like an application, user manual, instructions. So we had the user manual for the nail lamp and then the application guide here, some useful tips, and also step-by-step -step along with pictures and just showing how to use the overall poly gel kit and how to use everything inside this kit. The first thing I'm showing are the actual nail tips. Like I said, this is a Lazy Girl series or like Femi Beauty slash Lazy Girl Method kit. So it does include full cover nail tips instead of dual forms, which I was super excited about. I really like doing the Lazy Girl method when using poly gel. I think it is very beginner friendly and very nice and quick. Something to do even if you are a beginner. So for the nail tips, I thought they were a little bit weird just because the largest size was actually one and it's usually size zero. I didn't have any issues with the sizing though. 
I don't know for sure if they have the size guide available on the listing. I kind of am hoping though because it's hard for me to tell you guys whether or not these are good for small or large nail beds. I feel like it's all just really just the size of your nail bed. I believe for my thumbnail though I was a size 2 which is kind of pretty standard for me especially when I'm doing poly gel um, inside the nail tips but the largest size was a size 1 and then the smallest size was size 10. The nail tips are really nice and they were kind of like a long coffin shape. The next item is a flash cure lamp and I didn't actually open this up or anything like that. It will probably be included in a giveaway because I just have so many of these at this point where I feel like it's kind of silly for me to open it and unpackage it and use it and um, just to put it into a drawer with a bunch of other ones I have. So I'm going to try my best to not use those, not unpackage them, and just save them for future giveaways. But that was included along with some glitters and sequins, these first um, butterfly sequins and some pink star sequins. Um, I mentioned in other poly gel unboxings, I do really love when a little bit of decorations are included because it is really nice if you are a beginner, you're kind of buying a one kit and want to be able to do your nails with that one kit. It's nice that some decorations are included. We also had these white snowflakes here, which would be perfect for Christmas or winter nails. I don't really want to think about that yet because I want to do fall and Halloween nails, but that is included for future like winter nail sets. A good variety here of some glitter and sequins to be able to incorporate into your nail set. The next item here is actually the poly gel brush and this was a little bit different than most poly gel brushes but I actually really really loved this brush. You can see that it's basically the same type of thing. We have the brush on one end and the spatula on the other end. It kind of is just a little bit of a different style. The next item is a buffer and this isn't really a good buffer, it's more of a shine buffer to shine the surface, but either way that's included along with a 100-180 grit hand file. Because this is a Lazy Girl set, it does include one of these nail stands, which if you're not sure what the Femi Beauty slash Lazy Girl method is, I'll be doing that method in today's video, so just keep on watching, and if you aren't sure, I'm sure by the end of the video you will understand what I'm talking about, but that nail stand is definitely going to come in handy. The next thing is this slip solution and I did try using this in the video but I did not like it. It was a really weird like I thought it was going to be like isopurple alcohol or rubbing alcohol but it was not. It was kind of like a base coat consistency but more on the thinner side. I didn't really like that slip solution. I personally just prefer using rubbing alcohol but either way that's included. We also have the base coat here. I've used Beatles brand in the past. It's one of those brands that I kind of started off with using their poly gels and I've always really liked their base and top coat along with their poly gels as well. I think they do have a really nice formula. But like I said, the base coat I showed and then we also have the top coat here. It does just include a glossy top coat, but I personally prefer using glossy top coats to begin with. And the last and final item included in this kit are the six colors of poly gel. Like always or most times, these are the smaller 15 ml tubes, so do keep that in mind. But because getting six colors in this one kit, I feel like it kind of balances because you do get six different colors even though they are in a smaller tube. So they all did come sealed and um, the name, well they don't actually have a name, they just kind of have like a little color swatch on the front with a number and I open them all up and then I'm just quickly swatching them on an index card here. The first color was a clear, the second color was a white. This poly gel kit also includes two glitter shades so we have a beautiful silver holographic chunky and fine glitter mix. The next color is a very pretty, kind of like a soft bubblegum pink shade. I really ended up liking that color. 
The next color is another pink, but it is more of a jelly pink in my opinion. It kind of had like a translucent look to it. Not by much, but just a little bit. And the last color was another glitter shade, which was a beautiful like pink magenta holographic shade. So here is just a quick overlook of everything that is included in this Beatles Lazy Girl Series Poly Gel Kit. If you are interested in picking this kit up, you can purchase it on Amazon, and I'll go ahead and leave the link to it down below in the description box. I'm ready to jump right in here though and start some nails. I'm not going to be showing any nail prep today, but if you've been keeping up watching my channel, watching gel extension videos, just basically follow those same exact prep steps and then your nails are going to last because they're both gel products. Um, but I just went off camera, applied my peel off base coat, and now I'm diving right in and sizing out the nail tips. So usually for my nail tips, I do want to quickly mention this. For my nail tips, um, I'm generally four sizes on my hand. So my thumb is a different size, my middle finger is a different size, and then my pinky is a different size. But my index and ring finger are the same size. For these nail tips though, I was the only three sizes because on my index, middle, and ring finger, I was all a size six. On my pinky, I was, I believe, a size nine. I'm going to show that here in a minute. And then for my thumb, I was a size two. While I was sizing these out though, I did keep in mind that I was going to be adding poly gel to the inside of these nail tips. So I wanted to make sure that they fit me nicely to where they weren't too small. When doing this method, you definitely want to keep in mind like to size up if necessary. If you feel the nail tip isn't going to allow you to put poly gel and still fit, definitely make sure you are sizing up to allow the room for the poly gel. So after I had the nail tip sized out, I pulled out that little stand, I put on the sticky tack, and this is what I will be using to hold the nail tips. It's really nice that they did include one of these. Even though it's just one of them, it still works and it's nice that it was included in the kit. For the nail set today, I'm actually going to be doing some glitter ombre nails. I'm not the best at doing poly gel applications when I'm doing the regular like poly gel over half cover nail tips. I generally like to stick to just doing um, one color on all nails or switching it up a little bit. I don't really go and do French tips or ombres. So when doing the lazy girl method, I am actually able to do ombres. So that's the reason why I decided to do ombres today. I decided to use the pink glitter along with the light bubblegum pink shade. So for the ombres, I start at the tip of the nail, apply the poly gel, and ombre that up the nail to where I want it to end. Once I have it where I like it, I'll take the nail tip off of the stand, flip it over to check the top side just to make sure that I like the design and like how it looks. And then I did put each of the nails into my nail lamp and I put it into a full nail lamp, by the way, like a full um, powered nail lamp. And I did a 15 second cure. And I actually repeated this method to all of the other nails. This method really just reminds me of Gel X nails or encapsulating glitter in gel or soft gel nails, gel extensions. That is definitely what this was reminding me of the entire time. And I didn't even think about it, but I did a super similar nail set to this using like the gel extension encapsulating method around February. So that was a little bit weird when I realized I almost did this same exact nail set, but don't worry. Once I realized that, I thought, how else can I spice this nail set up to make it a little bit different than that nail set, even though really it is completely different because one, I used glitter and applied it like um, gel extensions or soft gel nails, and this time around I actually used poly gel, so it is completely different, but I thought I'd mention that because that's what I was getting the feeling of the entire time of doing this, and then looking back at my nail sets and remembering I almost did this exact same nail set, just a different way. 
So for the nails, because we are using full cover nail tips and applying our poly gel in full cover nail tips, when you go to apply these to your natural nails, you will be leaving the full cover nail tip on. You will not be popping it off. I do want to mention that because I feel like that's a question I always used to get when I did this method. It is always recommended that you prep your nail tip. I didn't show doing that, but just like if you were applying soft gel extensions onto your natural nails, you would want to buff the nail surface or apply primer to chemically etch the nail tip. Tip. You can do both of those methods. If you're using soft gel nail tips, it isn't, you don't really necessarily have to do that, but you can always run into the problem where the nail tip actually pops off from the poly gel, if that makes sense. And with this method, you don't really want that to happen. We're not using dull forms, so you actually want the nail tip to stay on the poly gel. I hope that all makes sense, but I'm just finishing out here on my ombres, and then I will hop back on in a minute here, and we will be applying our nail bed color. So here are the nails once I had in the glitter poly gel for the glitter ombre and the glitter poly gel is now cured. I cured each of those nails for 15 seconds in the nail lamp. That is just the way I like doing it. I know some people prefer to apply both colors of poly gel into the nail tip and not cure the first color, but I just find it a little bit easier to ombre that first color up cure that so it's like completely out of the way and then I will now go in with my second color like you're seeing me do here and I did use the like bubblegum light pink shade. I thought that matched perfectly with this glitter poly gel and just would create a very beautiful ombre. So for doing this, I am now going to do the same exact thing, applying that poly gel to the like cuticle area of the nail, ombreing it down, and then I will not cure yet. I will put it onto my natural nail, press it down, make sure it is onto my nail, make sure everything's straight. I'll use my brush to clean up any poly gel if necessary, and then I will just pop that into the nail lamp and do a 30 second cure. Once that nail is cured, I will just now move on to the next nail, repeating the same exact process. So basically, if you were doing full, like one full color, you wouldn't do any cures in between besides curing it onto your natural nail. But because I did the ombre, I cured the first color, and then the second color here is the color that I'm actually going to be using to cure onto my natural nail. I'm hoping this all makes sense. I feel like it is kind of just your watching it and you can follow along step by step with watching it. I don't think it is really hard to do. One thing I do struggle with though is the amount of poly gel I put into the nail tip and I just want to give a quick tip here. Do not apply a ton of poly gel. A little bit of poly gel goes a long way. When applying these nails, you really don't need much at all. For some of the nails, I did apply a little bit too much and I had to go underneath the nail and clean it up, which is very, very hard to do. So just make sure you are applying a very small amount of poly gel. That way you aren't going to have a bunch of poly gel seeping out underneath the nail or around your cuticle. Before curing though, definitely keep in mind to clean up any poly gel touching your skin. You never want to cure any poly gel on your skin. So just use your cleanup brush and go around, clean that up, and then once everything's straight, you like how the nail looks and you don't have any more poly gel on your skin, I recommend doing a 30 second cure, repeating the process to all other nails, and then doing a full 60 second cure just to make sure the poly gel is fully cured. So I'm just going to go ahead and let the rest of this play out. I really hope you guys are enjoying the video. If you are enjoying and haven't subscribed yet, please make sure you subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, and if you're feeling generous, leave a comment below.
once I had all of the nails applied and I did my full 60 second cure to make sure everything was cured, it is now time for filing. Another reason why I absolutely love this method of applying poly gel because the nail tips are already pre-shaped because you used pre-shaped full cover nail tips. It makes filing super easy, just as quick as if you're filing soft gel extensions. And I am just went in with the 100, 180 grit hand file to crisp the shape. I'm also using my five in one drill bit here to go around the cuticle to clean up any spillage that I may have on the nail tip and also to just seal in the cuticle to give a cleaner look. I will also then take a buffer and just buff the shine from the nail tips because it does have that shiny surface and I want to make sure that I remove that so when I apply my top coat it does adhere properly. So to make these nails different from the last set that I did a pink glitter ombre almost identical to this nail set, I was thinking what can I do to make these look different? So the first thing I thought of was stickers. It's easy, it's simple, I'm not going to have to do any nail art, it's just making the nail set beginner friendly, still look cute. So I pulled out these stickers because when I saw them I was like black would go with pink and then these stickers have pink in them. I thought they would match perfectly and they did. So I'm just taking these stickers, they're kind of like self love, kind of giving a little bit of a pink baddie vibe to them and I just thought they would really look nice on the nail set. I ended up loving the nail set just because I took a simple pink glitter ombre and transformed it into like a whole different look and it was so easy to do because I literally just used stickers and placed a couple stickers on the nails. There were stickers as such as like snakes, handcuffs, money, diamonds, self-love, um, I think one said angel, just some really cute stickers to kind of make the nail set look a little bit more on the girly but also like giving off a baddie vibe and I just really like the way this looked. It kind of reminds me a little bit of like spooky vibes as well so I was also loving that. Once I did have all of the stickers placed, I just took the top coat that was included in the kit, I applied that to all of the nails, and cured that for 30 seconds in the nail lamp. I'm now taking my absolute favorite cuticle oil, which leads me to say, why do none of these poly gel kits ever include cuticle oil? That is one of the most important steps. If Even if you're not wearing nails, you should be applying cuticle oil to your nails daily. And I think it's a little weird that none, no kits ever include um, cuticle oil. Well, at least kits that I've reviewed. I'm sure there's some out there, such as this one, I found that they have full cover nail tips instead of dual forms. Either way, I applied my cuticle oil to nourish my cuticles, and of course, like I always say, top off the nail set, and here is the finished look of these nails. I love this vibe. I like pink, or I mean, I love pink nails, and I like that these have pink thrown into them, but they're also more on, like, I don't know. I would describe them as, like, batty, like, spooky, Halloween like a gothic type thing but like a pink gothic and I really like that because it's something different something that I wouldn't always reach for or I wouldn't always do in my nail sets but I feel like when I do it I always love it and I think it's a really different look even though this is a very simple nail set with some glitter ombres and then stickers applied these are my favorite types of nail sets to do because it's really 
focusing on any person can do this, whether you're a professional, if you're a beginner, if you're at a more advanced level, but you're still like kind of teeter-totting back and forth. I feel like anybody can do this nail set and it is just a very beginner-friendly nail set to do. I do really love how the ombres turned out. I feel like I would have never been able to do ombres like this if I was doing it on half cover nail tips. I definitely still need more practice with just the poly gel application. So that's why when doing this Femi Beauty slash Lazy Girl method, it definitely comes in clutch for designs like this. A lot of you may be asking, why not just apply the nail tips and apply gel over top of them? You can definitely do that. You don't have to apply poly gel. You can just do soft gel extensions. It is all just a personal preference overall. But I really hope that all of you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Mm -hmm.